What's up, everybody? The CEO, the money maker, the one and only storm taker, Storm Allen, baby. And I'm back with a mother loving, nice YouTube video. I know you already saw the title down below. You already know what this one is about. But we got a huge tier list today for ranking my favorite hero of all time, the Barbarian King. And we got a tier list for all his skins. So we'll be ranking all these skins and telling you guys to know what skin is my favorite. Only the OGs remember my favorite Barbarian King skin. Uh, comment down below your favorite Barbarian King skin and also comment your worst. But without further ado, shout out to Extra Large Pigeon for getting his, his base used as my background today. Alright guys, if you ever want to get your base used as one of my backgrounds on my YouTube video, all you got to do is jump on the live. I'm live every single day except for Saturdays at 8 p.m. EST. Alright baby, looking forward to seeing you guys there. Jump over and let's get on the tier list. Alrighty there guys, so first things first, we got the Beast King. Uh, with all honesty, there's nothing much about this skin I do like. I feel like he looks goofy. I think he looks stupid. I'm going to go straight to D-Class. We got, I believe this was the Party King, I believe. I'm not the biggest fan of gimmick skins, guys. But I do think it's definitely better than the Beast King skin. So, um, I like these sounds. The animation is pretty cool. So I might just leave it at lower C for now, but that's what we're going to work with. We have the champion King next, uh, not the worst champion set yet. <coughs> worst champion King skin yet champion. What I'm saying? Not the worst skin in the champion bundle. <coughs> I'm looking at you, Grand Warden, with your Magneto helmet. So, so far, I don't think it's an A skin, because uh, I don't really have fun with this skin. Uh, the sword with the flames on it is pretty nice, but other than that, there's nothing really going for it. I'm not the fan of the helmet the king has on. I prefer him not having the helmet on. It might have been a little better for me, but I'm going to go with B for now. Low B. We got the chest king uh this is one that have been growing on me recently guys if you watch my previous ranking of my top 10 favorite king skins uh, he was there and i think i really like this skin is it an a class skin nope is it an s class yes uh nope it is a b class and i'm gonna put it behind the champion uh skin all right so now we got the class feast skin king skin I'm going to say skin and king so much right now, guys. So do bear with me. All right. So for this one, I would say I like the personality behind the skin. I love how uh, the energy, the vibe he gives off, that cockiness, showing the muscles. I know I got the muscles too, baby. But is it an A-class skin? Is it a memorable skin? Not really. So I'm going to go with B again, but I'm going to put it above the champion king. We got the Clockwork ski series. Guys, y'all know how I feel about the Clockwork skins. I say they're solid D choice. I don't care how good their animations are. There's they're whatever the troops they spawn. I'm not a fan of it. Now we got the Dark Ages King. Mm, I think we're just, just getting bad skins right now. The Dark Ages. I feel like this is one of the worst skins in the Dark Ages set. Uh, the King... Could have looked way better. I feel like he's a letdown compared to how good the queen looks. So again, we haven't even managed to land an A-class, all right, S-tier skin yet. Uh, but I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with um above the party king and put it at C. All right, we got the fierce king. This king gets so much. Not even he doesn't get anything. Nobody talks about his first maker skin that got into the game made by a fan. If you guys didn't know, it is it is all right. It looks like Thor from Ragnarok, but it, again, it's a it's a skin that just seems bland. It doesn't feel like there's much of a difference than the default skin. So again, I'm gonna go with um, C, and I'm gonna put it under the Dark Ages. You know what? I might I I might put it at B. I'm gonna put it at B under the Chess King. Now we got the future king. Uh, the future set gets a lot of hate. Um, I think the scenery was definitely not the best. The future king is is also not that particularly good. But again, I would say is it a tier? 
Not even close. Is it B tier? Mm, I say I would prefer the Class Fest King over the Future King, but you know what? I'm, I, I might. I'm gonna put it over. I'm gonna put it over the um the class fest king so it's high b right now we got the gladiator this was the first king skin ever made this was probably made in what 2014 don't quote me guys just drinking water do not quote your boy i'm human too even i make mistakes you know i know i have the money in the cars and the girls i know i know but i'm human too bro don't worry but i would say this is a decent skin for the first skin being made and I, it has potential. Again, I still think it's a B tier skin. And I'm going to put it behind the chest king for now. Goblin king. Uh, it's ugly. It's doing its job. Personally, I think it's better than the monster. And the clockworks. And even the dark ages. So I'm going to put it at high C tier. We got the golem king. Guys, if you already know me, you know this is going at solid S tier, guys. There's not even a question. One of the most unique skins. Change the hero look completely. This could be sold as a separate hero. I've said this multiple times. And now we got the ice king. And I'm going to say the ice king is a solid A choice. I'm not the biggest fan of the here. I wish the entire here was blue, but it does work. I love the design of his sword. Uh, I do think the King of the North is pretty similar, and I do think they're both good choices. So uh, let's go with that for now. Oh, okay. So now we have the Jolly King. And the Jolly King. Uh, what is this? <laughs> what is this? This is this is bottom D tier. I prefer using the Clockwork Skin. This guy just looks stupid. We have the Jungle King. This is the first skin I ever bought when the first time I played Clash of Clans. But you know me. I don't go off of sentimental stuff. I don't go off of that. We go off of ranking. It's different. It's ugly. I do agree with it. Do I prefer it over the Goblin King? I do. Do I prefer it over the Chess King? The, the Champion King? Uh, I'll put it right behind, the champ, right behind the Champion King for now. And now we got the League King. The League King is going in A tier. Nah, just kidding, bro. Solid S tier right below the Golem King for me, guys. This is a number one skin. This is no joke. This ain't no joke. I think I'm going on a boat. We got the Lunar. Lunar King is going in S tier too, guys. I'll put the Lunar King right behind the League King and the Golem King. I love the design. They went with it. Even though I was shocked that animals ended up working out perfect in Clash of Clans. I'm looking at you, Lunar Queen. Funny ears. But I love the design for these guys. And now the S tiers are coming out of here. We got another S tier. We got the Magic King. And I put the Magic King above the Lunar. Because if you know me, I'm a sucker for the Magic set. The glowing eyes. The glowing sword. What could be wrong with that, baby? All right. We got the Painter King. And this is a step down. And I'm going... I'm going behind the Dark Ages, and I'm putting the Painter right between, uh, right behind the Dark Ages. There's nothing to be said to me. This guy just looked goofy. The Painter said it's all goofy. Uh, I don't remember if this was a Party King. Uh, they might be the same, but do I prefer it over the next King? No, I do not. I'll put a, put him right beside his brother. We got a P.E.K.K.A. King. And I would say the P.E.K.K.A. King was a early skin, but it was a good adaptation of the skin. And I'm going to put it at A tier. I actually think it's A tier because of how simple it was, but those slight color changes made it beautiful. I don't know how that makes sense, but it makes sense to me. We got the Pirate King. Pirate King, I'm going to put it at high B tier above the Future King. Uh, it, do, it, does what it, it does what it needs to do. It's a pirate peg leg. It gives the energy that it needs. Um, the Pixel series, if you all know me, I hate the Pixel series. But now um, it's been growing on me a little bit. So I'm going to bump it up to a B tier for now. Putting it top of the B tier. We got the Primal Trash. No, nothing. Rogue King. Trash. Ball cut, bro. I'm sorry, bro. If you're rocking the Ro Rogue King, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
We got a Shadow King. I wish his see, you know, wish his stuff was black. It does pay homage to the Executioner, so I'm, I think it's better than B. I, I, I think it's high C tier, and I'm gonna put it right behind the Clash Fest King. All right, we got the Skeleton King. Uh, it's a plain skin, but it works, and it works well. So for that, don't hate me. Don't hate me, cause you ain't me. But I think I'm gonna put it at A tier. But but bottom of A tier, Summer King. I'm not the biggest fan of the Summer series at all. But I'm gonna put it above the Painter and the Dark Ages and the Golem. So and the the Goblin. So let's put it at C right there. Now we have I can't even remember this guy. This is another Lunar King, I believe. We never see this guy back. I say it's a bland skin. There's no nothing really memorable about him. So he's definitely a B tier category. And we're gonna put it right behind the champion king. Got the ghost king. Ghost king is solid A tier. Uh, not the biggest fan of the ghost series anymore. I feel like I've seen them so often now, so I get tired of them. Uh, so the ghost is A tier. We got three more skins we need to add in here, guys. Hold on before you even leave. So let's do this. Let's get those three. We have the cookie king. Ooh, this is this is very very bad for me. And I'm going D tier. I would never use this skin over any other skin in the game uh this is my person the guys remember this is my personal preference i know a lot of people like the cookie series they think they're cute the pixel series and the clockwork series is just not for me right um king of the north a tier i'll put it above all of these guys and put it in solid a tier right there the ghost king also move up and put the ghost king above the ice and go right there so we got a tier looking nice uh now we got the dragon king and the dragon, at first, I was a little bit iffy about it. And now, I think I actually like it. I absolutely like it now. And I'm going to put it in an A tier. Top of the A tier for me, guys. So, guys, this is my list. This is my tier list. Shout out to Seth Gaming, guys, for making this tier list even possible. Thank you. I got a, uh, I got a huge inspiration from Seth uh, Gaming. Uh, links down. Com his link is down below. I don't even remember the spike. Guys, I'll leave this stuff in because I want you guys to see that, yo, when you're making YouTube videos, we fumble as much as everybody else. So I like leaving this type of stuff in. Guys, how would your list look? Is there something that I need to change? Is there something that I need to bring down to a lower tier? Comment down below. Let your boy know. Um, I'm out of here. Can't even say the trenches I guess we had it good until they knocked out of the